Hi, I'm Kent Burke. I'm an attorney at the Scottsdale, Arizona law firm of Burke & Moskowitz, where we handle personal injury, probate, real estate, and other disputes in Arizona. I want to give you an update today on a case out of Texas, a very sad but potentially helpful case involving the death of a dog, of a pet, pet dog. Uh, what happened in this case was the Medlands uh, owned a, a dog that got out of their yard and was picked up by animal control. When they found out that the dog had gotten away and was at animal control, they went to the uh, office and uh, tried to get the dog back, and animal control said they needed to pay a fee in order to uh, release the dog. And the Medlands didn't have the money that day, so the animal control agreed to hold the dog for a few days until the Medlands could come back and, uh, and pay the fee uh, to get their dog out of jail. And, uh, the uh, animal control put a sign on the dog's crate saying, uh, do not kill. Uh, in the meantime, the Medlands went home and started getting the money together to go back and, and get the dog back. But an employee of animal control the next day prepared a list of dogs to be put down, to be euthanized. And uh, the animal control worker put the Medlands dog on the list, even though he was not supposed to be put down. And before the Medlands could come back to pay the fee to get their dog back, animal control uh, sadly killed their dog. So they were uh, very upset, as many dog and other pet owners would be, and they filed a lawsuit in Texas court for the loss of the intrinsic or sentimental value of the companionship of their dog. Uh, and uh, the uh, trial court dismissed the case, saying that under long-standing, over 100-year-old case law, that a pet owner is only entitled to recover the extrinsic or economic value of the animal, such as if it was used for work or had a special bark or something, and the Medlins were making money from it. And because the Medlins' claim was limited to the emotional distress uh, damages for the intrinsic or sentimental value, the Texas trial court dismissed the case. But the Texas Second Court of Appeals reversed, saying that um, in light of today's society and the importance of pet animals and dogs in uh, people's households, that the Medlins should be entitled to recover damages for the intrinsic or uh, sentimental value, the emotional distress of the loss of their dog based upon the negligent conduct of the animal control officer. So the Medlin's case was remanded back to the trial court for a trial on the issue of whether the animal control officer was negligent, as it appears he was, that you know, the dog was not supposed to be killed, and then a determination of how much value, the intrinsic or sentimental value, that the Medlin's should be able to recover, uh, as well as perhaps other issues such as governmental immunity. So please uh, uh, watch our website, BurkeMoskowitz.com. I'll be monitoring this case to see if the Texas Supreme Court takes up the issue. And it could be very helpful to dog owners in other states, such as Arizona, most of which, if not all of which, reject a claim for emotional distress based upon the negligent harm or death of a dog. Thank you, and let us know if you have any questions.